I was about eight, my parents split up. My mom just changed. She has PTSD and nobody really acknowledges that. Ever since then, we had housing issues. We moved a lot. We ended up just living in a motel for almost a year. My two sisters and I would share one bed, so it was three of us in one bed, and then my mom and my little brother. We moved here to Oregon, and we ended up finally, finally getting a house through Section 8. After having that home for three years, like finally feeling like you had a home, it went away. The original owner of the house had showed up while I was at school, showing up with a sheriff, yelled at her, like, get your stuff, you have to go, you're leaving now. Like, you can't be here anymore you need to leave. It triggered my mother's PTSD. She ended up just kind of disappearing. I had my siblings and we ended up with my grandma and my oldest sister. That was when I was like not a kid anymore. Lanson, he was somebody I could go to and just kind of feel comfortable and not like have to put on a brave face. She came to my office and um, they were being evicted and I began to realize how highly mobile her situation is. From when I was about eight to now, it's been like having like a pop quiz every day. You don't know where you're laying your head at night or where you're going to be after you're done with the day. It's just like a never ending cycle. It was a miracle that she was going to her classes and, and, and completing the work and on track to graduate. Jaslyn shows up to school every day with a smile, connecting with other peers and teachers and coaches. The best part of my days is going to school and just being able to focus on what I'm learning and just being able to be me in like a positive light. <laughs> School and sports helped me a lot through the hard times. And we're so proud of Jaslyn, of the person that she is and what she's accomplished. I'm really leaning towards Warner Pacific in Portland. Criminal justice and business marketing. I really just want to help people. My whole life has been kind of sucky with housing. <laughs> and so being able to change that for somebody else, being able to help them find a home that they can afford, that they can live in, that's what I want to do.